guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my makeup bag. I have the Zoella Candy Clutch um, makeup bag. It was £12 from Superdrug. I love that it's got the like washcloth on the back and on the front it's got the kind of fabric-y um, candy cane striped um, material. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to get started and pull things out and speak to you about why they're in my bag and stuff. I like to keep my makeup bag quite different and quite exciting. Um, if I buy any foundation then I put it in my makeup bag and it kind of encourages me to try it and stuff and I'm just going to pull it out, lucky dip and see what we get so the first product I have is my um, fixing mist I like to spray this on my Real Techniques um, blending sponge I feel like it keeps my foundation on for longer this is just a MUA brand, it's a Makeup Academy Pro Base Fixing, fixing Mist I've got a little bit left of this, I think it's like three or £4 or something and it works really well Next I have my um, kind of contour um, bronzer brush, this is from Real Techniques, it's a bit dirty, I do need to clean my brushes soon. Um, another brush, I've got my big fluffy powder brush, this is from Superdrug, it's own brand, it's from uh, called Studio. Um, this is a bit dirty as well, I should have cleaned these beforehand, but um, I use this for my powder and it's super super soft and I've had this for about a year and the bristles don't fall out or anything like that. Um, next also another brush I've got is a Real Techniques blending brush. Um, I like this to just kind of blend out my eyeshadow and it's a really nice soft texture. Um, it's called the Deluxe Crease Brush. Next I've got my bronzer. This is the Bourjois um, Bronzing Powder and it's in the shade 51 and it looks like a chocolate bar and it smells delicious. I really like this for contouring as well. It's not got much um, shimmer in it. It's quite a matte bronzer. Got a random little mirror here. This is from Primark and it's just like a heart shaped double sided mirror. One side's kind of um, magnified and I've got lipstick all on my teeth. Are you joking? A make that's why you need to carry a mirror in your makeup bag. Um, next, I've got my current mascara which I'm using. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious with Oil Blend Multifying Effect Mascara in the shade Black. Really enjoying using this at the moment. I like the spoon brush. And I've always loved Maybelline mascaras. Another mascara which um, I don't really have much left of, so I've got it in my makeup bag just to kind of encourage me to use it. This is good for my bottom lashes. It's the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It's very, very grubby, um, but I will repurchase this again when I've um, finished this. I super, I love this mascara. It's really nice for lengthening the eyelashes. And we have my very dirty um, Real Techniques blending sponge. I use this for um, liquid foundation and concealer and it's double sided so it's got the flat side and it's got the pointy side for around the nose and around the eye. This is the Maybelline New York Brow Drama Medium Brown Sculpting Brow Mascara. I've had this for a while but I keep forgetting to use it recently, I don't have anything on my eyebrows at the moment. Um, it's essentially like a smaller mascara wand which kind of just coats individual um, hairs, just kind of tints them slightly. Um, another brush is a buffing brush, I think this one is. Um, I used to use this my, for my foundation but I've recently bought the um, Expert Face Brush, which is this one. I find this one a lot more kind of coarse. Um, this one's got longer hairs, longer bristles. Um, so I find this one easier to apply my foundation, but I've got them both in there just in case I want to switch things up. Um, a lip product which I'm currently in love with, I've got this on at the moment. This is the MYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. Um, my current foundation which I'm using, I recently bought this in Superdrug, it's the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix um, foundation, this is in the shade number 51 Light Vanilla, I really love you. I love this at the moment, I think the coverage is awesome, it doesn't stay on, it's meant to stay on for 16 hours, it lasts maybe like 10, maybe like 8 to 10 hours, but 16 hours, I don't think I'm awake for that long in the day to find out, but um, it smells really nice and it goes on really lovely and it does make your skin very very radiant. This needs to be taken out because it's completely empty. This is the Body Shop Skin Primer Moisturiser for dry skin, I believe this one. Um, this was £12, I think. I bought this to apply underneath my foundation. It's a really lightweight kind of like moisturiser, it feels like. Um, it's not like any other primer I've ever used before, but um, I'd pop this on in the morning when I felt like my skin was really dry and my foundation would last really long. I have a few sachets of Dermalogica products. Um, these are kind of for when I stay at Connor's house. I've got a moisturiser, cleansing gel and um, exfoliators. Just sometimes I don't want to bring like a full size um, exfoliator or cleanser. My current powder which is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte Healthy Glow Powder in the shade 52 Vanilla. 
really um, enjoying this at the moment. It's like a gorgeous kind of matte um, powder. It goes on really nicely and it smells lovely like the foundation. My current eyeshadow, just easy every day, um, is the Maybelline Colour 24 Colour Tattoo 24 Hour On and On Bronze Eyeshadow. It's like a cream eyeshadow which um, I apply using this brush from Studio. Um, I kind of pat it on the lid and then I use the purple um, Real Techniques blending brush just to kind of blend it out so it's not so harsh. A new item to my makeup bag is the Lasting Perfection um, Ultimate Wear Concealer from the brand collection. This is also um, up to 16 hour wear. I love this so much. I don't know why I haven't bought this sooner. This is great for under the eyes to kind of make the eyes pop and it gets rid of any um, blemishes to conceal. It's a lovely concealer and I enjoy using it every morning. I next have a lipstick. This is the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in 255 My Mahogany. Love this so much. Um, this is kind of the colour that got me into nudes and stuff. Um, it's really, really creamy and it's a really nice kind of brown nude. And the packaging is really cool as well. Another lipstick in here. I always carry a red lipstick with me because you never know when you're going to need a red lip. This is Revlon um, Colour Burst Lip Butter in number 35 Candy Apple. I'm sorry if the camera angles changed slightly, my memory card just ran out. I normally carry around two 8 gig um, memory cards, but my other one's in my laptop, so I've just popped in a 2 gig um, memory card, so I've got 12 minutes left of recording, so sorry if the camera angles kind of changed. Anyway, as I was saying, I've got my red lipstick, which is by Revlon, it's number 035 Candy Apple. I love these, um, these used to be like my thing, um, they're really, really creamy, they go on really nicely and they last quite well as well. Next we've got in here my um, baby lips from Maybelline, this is just like a kind of um, like a lip balm tint, it's in the shade Cherry Me um, which looks like this and it comes out just the slightest kind of pink sheen. I just wiped off the other lipstick if you're wondering where that's gone. Next we've got MAC Studio Fix uh, Foundation in NC15. When I got this matched, um, they matched me I think like two shades too light. So it doesn't really work too well on my skin as foundation, but I like to use it as kind of concealer like under my eyes and it's really brightening. But um, it's a shame that it doesn't work on my, my skin. I look really, really pale and washed out if um, if I use this, but um, I, I, I think I'd put it in my makeup bag to kind of give it another go, but it works well as kind of concealer because it's quite um, full coverage. Another foundation is um, by Clinique. It's the even better foundation in the shade number 01 Alabaster. This was like my first kind of high-end um, foundation that I bought and this is the second one. I used up the whole of the first one and then um, I put this in my makeup bag. But this is, I like using this but sometimes it's a bit too much. It takes a while to kind of work into the skin. Hence why I bought the, um, the Bourjois foundation because I kind of flick between the two of them. But um, this one's definitely more kind of radiance boosting. This one's quite matte. But um, I love them both so they're both in there. I have got a eyeliner. I don't really wear eyeliner anymore. This is for my waterline. It's a Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. It's in the shade 216 Black. I love that this twists. I can't stand pencil eyeliners, but um, I haven't really, I don't really wear them anymore. And I like that on the end, this has got like a smudge, a smudger. So if you were to pop it on like the top, you just kind of smudge it and it makes it quite smoky. But um, don't really wear this anymore, but it's in there in case I want to, want to try it. Um, I have this, which is a retractable lip liner pen. When I put on red lipstick, I like using a lip brush, just so I get better precision. This is just a cheap one from Superdrug, um, but it's retractable, so when you want to use it, you push the lip bit down, and then when you don't want to use it, take it off, pop it in, and it's kind of concealed and it doesn't get messy in your makeup bag. Next, I have a concealer brush. This is by... Real Techniques. I don't really like using this for concealer, I feel like you have to work with it quite a lot, um, so I tend to use my um, blending sponge, but um, I like to use my blending sponge under my eye, and if I have any kind of blemishes on my chin then I'll use this, but because um, it's quite flat, it's quite hard to kind of work the concealer into the skin, um, I think it just needs a good wash. Another lip product, which is one of my um, kind of all-time favourite lipsticks, is by Soap and Glory. It's um, in the shade Juava Rama. I've had this for quite a while, and I still can't pronounce the name. I'll show you guys and see if you can make out what it says. Juava Rama. I see, I don't know what it says. Um, it's quite pink, um, and it's got SG in, engraved in the front there. But um, this used to be like my everyday kind of lipstick, it, long, it lasts really well and I think it was £9, I've had this for a while now, but um, it's a nice pink and 
I know it goes with everything, so it's in there. Um, two more lip items. I have two of the Barium lip liners. These are both in the exact same shade, um, which is number 17. The reason I have two is because this one's snapped, and I find it really hard to sharpen. This one's still got a bit left to it. I just need to get my mum or someone to sharpen it for me because I'm absolutely rubbish at sharpening um, pencils, anything. It just snaps. Um, and then I get like splinters on my lips. But um, I do like this and it's a really nice nude kind of pink colour. It's really lovely for kind of everyday wear. Nearly getting to the end. got a few products left. I've got some tweezers which I just use for like eyebrows and whatever. And then I have a hair clip which I sometimes use to just get my fringe out my hair. My fringe out my hair, my hair out my face when I'm doing my makeup, or if I ever do like a quiff or anything, I've also always got a hair clip. Um, next, I've got a Rimmel product. This is the Professional Eyebrow Pencil in 001 Dark Brown. Um, I bought this when I was in college. Someone waxed my eyebrow off, or half my eyebrow, so I had no eyebrow, and I never do anything to my eyebrows as it is. As I said, I don't normally use much on them, but because um, I had, because I didn't have an eyebrow. Connor went into town for me and bought me an eyebrow pencil and this is just the one he picked. Um, I use it sometimes just to kind of fill in slightly where there's gaps or something and then I use the end and just kind of brush them down but the brush is quite good for kind of keeping them in shape and giving them a comb when they need it. Um, two more products left, nearly at the bottom, I've got another random um, mascara, this is Rimmel Wonderful, Rimmel Wonderful, I can't really work out what else it says on it because it's rubbed off but this is in the shade black. I like this my top lashes because it's really big and like voluptuous. Um, brush, it's really really big and it really does grab all the lashes and coat them really nicely. Got some eyelash glue in case I ever have any eyelashes on me. It's be quite handy to keep one of those in your bag or anything. Um, and then last but not least, another brush which is a this is a concealer brush but it's called something like Defined Concealer or something. I can't remember the name. It's rubbed off, but um, this is good to clean up around the lips. Um, when you apply lip liner or liquid lipstick, it's good to go in with this because it's really short. It's really kind of small and just clean up around the bottom, around the top, um, which is what I kind of tend to use that for. And that is everything. We're just left with a very dirty inside of my makeup bag. So that's everything and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you keep in your makeup bag, what's your kind of all-time favourite lipstick or foundation, which you always, always have um, in your makeup bag. I'd love to hear. I'll leave all my outfit details in the comments. I've never worn this colour before and I look it looks black. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of like burgundy. I have this exact jumper in grey but now it's kind of in autumn. I thought um, I'd buy it and it's a different colour and I've had my hair done as well recently if you guys can notice. It's blonder. So let me know what you think about the jumper. Does it, does it wash me out? Is it too dark? What do you think? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. It means the world to me. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're nearly at 11,000 subscribers, which is mad. And we've got like 300 to go, I think. So let's see if we can smash it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!